My name's Paul Naff. Our farm history goes back to 1853. I'm the sixth generation on the same farm. We've been here since well before the Civil War, before Abraham Lincoln was president, along with my dad, Lewis. I'd like for my kids to be able to hang on to it. I have three daughters. They're not interested in farming. So the solar would actually help with estate planning and uh, help with the legacy of continuing that generational farm. After we harvest the crops, then we do the fall tillage. And then in the wintertime, everything's just dormant on the farm. When I think about the solar farm, it's actually just a different type of harvest. It's just uh, harvesting, but it'll be uh, year round. I grew up on a farm uh, just in central Minnesota, right outside of St. Cloud. My parents uh, mainly grew corn and soybeans. My name is Chanel Montana, and I'm a director of development for LightSource BP. The Birch Solar Farm is an opportunity for the Lima community to have an additional partner in community investment. Farmers are stewards of their land, whether it's agriculture, whether it's solar. They need to be able to make the decision of what's best for their family and, and for their long-term planning. It's our opportunity to be a partner. We heard feedback from the community, and our team worked hard to consolidate the project footprint to use less land and be less intrusive. We will not expand this new smaller boundary, period. We also heard your concerns about the setbacks. Let's take a look together driving down Breeze Road. The view shed here was a major area of concern, so we maximized the setback there to 300 feet. That's the length of a football field. As you can see here, setbacks from nearby homes are well beyond industry standard. Plus, our team is having specific discussions around landscaping and screening with adjacent neighbors. We've selected cedar farm fencing that matches existing fences in the community. We're planting five-foot evergreen trees that will top eight feet tall when they're mature to protect the habitats of local birds and integrate with the landscape. All existing trees and natural screening are being preserved. Solar panels are only being placed on areas that have already been disturbed and plowed, and all of these areas are set back from wetlands. In fact, we have seen bird habitats and prey availability increase at our solar farms because once built, the land goes undisturbed and returns back to nature. We're planting and maintaining natural evergreen vegetation and also pollinator gardens. The seed mix will be biodiverse enough to support a range of pollinator species and is paired with low-growing, easily maintained ground cover planted under and around the solar panels. Plus, the farmland will support sheep grazing, which maintains agricultural use of the land and diversifies income for Lima's farmers. Birch Solar Farm is so much more than what you think. It's a vast biodiversity farm. It's a pollinator farm, a jobs farm that attracts more businesses to the area. If you support your farmers, then support Birch Solar Farm. We've always, for generations, cared and tended to the land, and going forward, we always want to continue to do that. With the solar farm, you want the right company to do it. What we liked about Light Source BP is they weren't pushy. They laid out what they were going to do and said, just think about it, and we'll get back with you, and, and that's what we did. But I think Light Source BP is an excellent choice for the community and for ourselves. It would be a win-win.